What's up guys, Flo here. Today we're gonna be showing you some Astra Outplace that'll increase your IQ. During this video, you're gonna see a little mini me that'll be explaining every single play as well as my thought process through it. This is for the sole purpose of trying to help you improve at playing Astra. We've got a lot to cover, so let's head on to the video. What's up guys, Mini Flow here. So there's gonna be a series of trades that happen here in mid, but the important part is that Cypher gets his ult off. It's now a one-on-one, -on -one, and instead of just going to the free bomb site, now that I know the jet is on B, I decide to walk up heaven and actually push the jet, since she's gonna expect that I'm doing the latter. This catches me a free kill, easy peasy. This right here shows a great way how you can use the dissipate or recall star mechanic on Astra to get a free unsuspecting kill. This clip is gonna become a 1v3. I'm gonna preemptively throw my star for top heaven. I hear the Skydog coming from vents and I'm gonna try to time it by pushing into the smoke as the Skydog clears the ledge, hopefully catching a timing. I swing through the smoke, I kill the brim that's running down mail, and immediately spray transfer to someone vents. Now it's a little unfortunate, I actually missed the star for top heaven, but you can notice that if that smoke was up, I actually have a pretty high chance of winning this one on three. In this round, I'm bringing up the fact that we already have four on site, including myself, so that we stay on site to fight rather than play for retake. Noticing that my Sova is falling off and kind of leaving my Reyna on site, I pull some aggro Astra util so I don't have to just blind run through an Astra wall, catching a wider angle than any of the attackers really expect. Dude, why did Sova leave to go out, man? We got four there, we just sh kill everybody. In this round, it's a one on two. I throw this smoke right outside of Garage, essentially acting like a decoy smoke. This smoke opens up a multitude of additional angles that they need to worry about. I'll let Big Flow explain it after the clip. Ah! Let's go. You throw that smoke to F with them that because that's a lore smoke and they have to respect it. It changes from them watching just garage walk out and spawn walk out to watching out garage toward this cubby, out garage toward logs, out garage just from the front, and then also spawn. So it just increased like three extra angles. All right, this one's on the eco route. I buy the shorty, drop it on the floor, pick up the classic. This is strictly because your classic disappears if it's on the ground. So by holding the classic until the round starts and then dropping it to pick up the shorty, if I ever need to rotate to a different site, I have both options available to me. Now in this case, it does sound like they're coming A. I know that the enemy team has a Sova, so I ask my jet to break the drone for me. After that, it's just timing, popping the smoke right after the drone clears so that it gives an impression that the smoke is clear when in reality I'm in that smoke the moment they lose line of sight. Works out pretty well. 61 on Toba. Let's go right side there. Right side, right side. I'm the best shorty in the game. What can I say? We're entering a one on two. I get the first kill through the crack in the door. At the same time, my Reyna gets traded. Now I know where the last two players are because Fade used I and their Reyna killed my Reyna. Instead of just running toward the free B site, I go to try to even out the odds. Pushing up towards sewers, I catch off Fade. And instead of just going to B site, which is now free, I decide to sit around for a little bit longer. I throw up a fake wall toward B and it pays off because this Reyna just assumes that because I walled B that I'm planting B and runs while reloading giving me the free kill without even planting. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is a Lotus kill box that I like to use that stops jets, raises, and omens from teleporting or getting across toward rubble. You're gonna put three stars down, one for a smoke and a main, one star for a pull right outside of it, and then a concuss behind rubble. This will allow any of your teammates to scale up behind rubble and hopefully catch a bunch of concussed enemies. And if not, you can clean up yourself. I mean, I'll get a double stun, I think. I'm stunning, stunning. They're stunned, they're stunned. Two. No way, again, again, again. No, God, so ugly. Give me. All right, this play is a little bit risky. Basically, you just wait to see if anyone's gonna peek window off the rip, and if it doesn't look like they are, then you're gonna try to cross over to the cubby in front of B main. When there, you're gonna try to place a star that actually isn't on center for what would be a normal star to smoke out B main, and shift it a little bit more toward your cubby. This way, it can act as a smoke for B main, but also allow you to escape from this corner. After that, the star is gonna bait as if you're playing retake, and if you ever need to get out, you can use the smoke, or you can be like me and re-aggress. This is a quick tip. Don't always be holding the aggressive angle. Let them peek into you. Come here, come here. Oh! 
Oh, oh shit. Shit. Hold on. Hey, he's late, he's late. <gasps> no! Oh, they don't oh, no! Big Flow, explain this next one. Now, I'm going to determine what I want gun I want to buy based on where I'm playing. So tree is really good because it's all close. So I kind of want a frenzy here. And if I run through the smoke, sometimes it, it'll just like just destroy people. In, in the smoke, free smoke and amen. <laughs> the perfect time to recall stars is when they expect it to be a real smoke. Use it to do aggressive maneuvers that would otherwise be kind of dumb. Nice. Oh. One more, two, two one more, one more there. You can also use your recall star to aggressively push angles. I'm gonna pop this smoke as I'm following up the sky dog. This sage didn't even see it coming. Maybe stairs. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Holy, holy. Ding, ding, 140, 140. Sky. Oh, that, yeah. This one's a 1v3. I push out of heaven, getting the first kill on the fade pretty easily, dropping onto sight. I know the omen can hear me. Now I go into elbow, the omen smokes me out, and instead of just running through it blind, I decide to take a moment and drop two stars to cut off the sight. Pay attention to how I swing out of the smoke, not with the gun sticking out, but actually looking into the smoke, and as I'm swinging out, I swing my gun out, giving me a little bit of an advantage with just a few nice shots and a little misdirection. Nice. Holy, Holy shit. Sheesh. That was sick, bro. Okay, <laughs> what are you looking at? This is the first time I've ever done a video like this. So comment down below if you have any suggestions or anything that you might want me to cover. All of these clips were taken from stream. I stream every weekday at 2 p.m. EST all the way till 8 p.m. So if you want to chill, then check me out there. Links are in the description. Follow all my socials to keep up to date and I'll see you in the next one. Blow out.